This audiobook is a personal endeavor and is for personal use only. 50 Self-Help Classics NLP, The New Technology of Achievement 1994 This book will change your life. We know. What you're about to read has already changed ours. You'd be surprised at the inner images people try to use to motivate themselves. In their mind's eye, they see tiny, dark slides of their work being done, or a fuzzy, black and white picture of the reward for completing a project. No wonder they're not motivated. Now, you can make a rich and compelling picture of what you want and what you value. The bigger, richer, more colorful, more three-dimensional and clear, the better. In a nutshell, people work perfectly. Program in new thoughts, actions, and feelings and you get a new life. In a similar vein, Richard Koch, The 80-20 Principle, page 182, Philip C. McGraw, Life Strategies, page 210, Maxwell Maltz, Psycho-Cybernetics, page 198. Anthony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within, page 252. Chapter 2. Steve Andreas and Charles Faulkner NLP Comprehensive Team The Science Fiction Writer Arthur C. Clarke once said, Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. This quote appears at the beginning of NLP the new technology of achievement and is also the conclusion of many who have used neuro-linguistic programming, a science of mind that has swept across the world in less than 20 years. Through NLP techniques, people have rid themselves of a long-standing phobia in a few minutes, or quickly left behind the burden of a horrible memory that has plagued them for years. We are so used to believing that change takes time so comfortable with the philosophy of no pain no gain, that when a contrary practice comes into being we are inclined not to believe it. The authors of this book admit, it seems so grandiose and unlikely that some people will use that as an excuse to never examine it closely. We are stuck in a time warp when it comes to psychology, believing that Freud's ideas are still central even though they were published a century ago. Yet how many people? Andreas and Faulkner ask, would be happy to drive around in a 100-year-old car. Thanks to advances in cognitive science and the development of NLP methods, personal change is no longer a mystery it can be fast, reliable, even fun. NLP, The Beginning In the early 1970s Richard Bandler was a maths undergrad at the University of California with a strong interest in computer science and psychology. He met an associate professor in linguistics, Dr. John Grinder, and they began to lead weekly therapy meetings that involved copying the content and style of the founder of the Gestalt movement, Fritz Perls. This attempt to replicate the results of another person by adopting their behaviors and methods, the German accent, moustache, and chain smoking were eventually accepted as unnecessary, led to the discipline of, modeling human excellence. Research into phobias led Bandler and Grinder to the discovery that people who detach themselves from their fear, for example in their mind they watch themselves having the phobia from a distance, will lose it. A further array of therapeutic techniques flowed from their work with famous clinical hypnotist Milton Erickson. Bandler's master's thesis became the first volume of the seminal NLP work, The Structure of Magic. A New Technology of Achievement Essentially, NLP is about changing the way you think about thinking. Neuro refers to the nervous system and the mental pathways of the five senses. Linguistic refers to language and the use of words, phrases, body language, and habits to reflect our mental worlds. Programming is borrowed from computer science. Add them together and you get a technology that reveals thoughts, feelings, and actions to be habitual programs open to manipulation. NLP, the new technology of achievement is one of the best introductions to the discipline, written by a professional training team that has links with NLP's founders. It has intellectual weight, but its real value lies in its many exercises or, 
thought experiments. Read only the first two chapters and you will already have a few methods under your belt for instant change. Read the whole book and do the exercises, and you'll have a mental toolkit to change your moods, behaviors, and memories, shape your thoughts and actions, and live according to your deepest values. Chapters include Getting motivated Discovering your mission Achieving your goals Creating rapport and strong relationships Persuasion strategies Eliminating fears and phobias Building self-confidence Creating self-appreciation and self-esteem Securing a positive mental attitude Achieving peak performance NLP Principles the following are the presuppositions or principles underpinning NLP. 1. The map is not the territory. We do not respond to the world as it is, we act in accordance with our own mental map of it. We have a much better chance of getting what we want if our map is continually revised to take account of the territory. Doing this is much better than trying to bend the world to fit your map. To experience as a structure. We all have patterns or structures in the way we think. By changing these, we literally change our experience, including how we think about past events. 3. If one person can do something, anyone can learn to do it. We can model the thinking and behavior of people who are already successful in order to achieve similar results. 4. The mind and body are parts of the same system. Our thoughts constantly affect our breathing muscles, etc. which in turn affects our thinking. Control your thoughts and you control your body. Five people already have all the resources they need. From our storehouse of memories, thoughts, and sensations we can construct new mental patterning designed to provide the outcomes we want. 6. You cannot not communicate. Everything about you eye and body movements, vocal tones, habits is a form of communication. It is not difficult to sense when what a person is saying does not match with who they are. 7. The meaning of your communication is the response you get. People receive information filtered through their mental map of the world. How you communicate must be constantly adjusted so that the message you want to be received is the one that is received. 8. Underlying every behavior is a positive intention. Violence masks a lack of acceptance or fear and yelling or criticism can express a need to be acknowledged. Look behind what people do to find their positive intent. Nine people are always making the best choices available to them. We make choices based on experience. More and better experiences allow for more choices. Ten if what you're doing isn't working, do something else. Do anything else. You'll only get the same results if you do what you've always done. NLP, the new technology of achievement amplifies these principles, including the following points. Everyone has a motivation direction, either toward pleasure and goals or away from pain. The NLP team found that most people are motivated by the latter, but with a change to toward motivation you can focus on possibilities rather than on what you fear. This doesn't mean living through rose-tinted spectacles simply changing the way you communicate with yourself. For example, after making your usual negative comments, restate your goal. This order negative first and positive last is a simple but effective motivator. Know the difference between a job and a mission. A job is usually too small for a person, a mission needs a whole life to make it real. Acknowledging the NLP principle that, if one person can do something, anyone can learn to do it, you can take the successful attitudes, decisions, and behaviors of people you admire and use them to fulfill your unique mission. Film director Steven Spielberg, artist Michelangelo, champion dog sled racer Susan Butcher, and media mogul Ted Turner are given as examples of people who are crystal clear about what their life is about. NLP exercises can reveal your life's passion and deepest values from which your mission will emerge. Change happens in an instant and should be natural and easy. No matter how many times you try to get a computer to do something, 
it will not do it if it does not have the appropriate software, or if it can do it, you need to have a manual in order to give it the right instructions. The human brain is much more sophisticated, but NLP is designed to be its software manual, using the brain's own language to alter and create new neural pathways. With NLP you do not have to rely on willpower, with knowledge of the technical means, change becomes easy. NLP's basic premise is that we can change our minds not simply by having new thoughts, but by changing the way we think, that is by choosing a different way to process the multitude of images, feelings, and memories that exist inside us, so that they serve us rather than sabotage us. We can diminish a bad memory quite easily by giving it new associations, just some examples. Hearing a happy song in our minds each time we remember it, turning the memory into a painting, with our choice of color and frame, making it into an old black and white movie, seeing ourselves smiling in the image instead of sad. Once these new associations are made, how you feel about a memory changes not only instantly but forever. Revisit it any time and the new association will still be in place. Try it before you dismiss it. NLP gets you away from, either slash or, thinking. In NLP there is a saying, if you only have one way to do something, you're a robot. If you only have two ways to do something, you're in a dilemma. You need at least three ways to do something before you have the beginning of some real flexibility. Above all, NLP gives you choice in how you want to change, there are few rules, only successful experiments. Everyone has internal voices. Turn them into great encouragers instead of saboteurs. You can play powerful and uplifting music in your mind whenever you need instant confidence, for instance. You can learn automatically to hear laughter any time you encounter a difficulty or challenge. Such methods put you in control of your reactions and thoughts at any moment, and enable you to take criticism and use it constructively. The brain does not know how to think negatively. If you continually tell yourself, I want to lose weight, your brain will be impressed with the word weight much more than the word, lose. Professionals advise slimmers to have a, goal weight, that they focus on, it is to this that they will make their body conform, not the losing of something. NLP teaches you always to use positive language, focusing on what you want, not what you fear. You can learn the ability to be confident in an instant, to be more loving, or to, make real, your ambitions before they are acted out in the world. Many winners use NLP without knowing it, in the way they can see, hear, feel, touch, and taste victory in their minds long before it actually happens. The feeling of winning draws the win to it, designing a compelling future draws you toward the actions needed to realize it. Those who become adept at creative visualization appreciate the NLP maxim, not all dreamers are achievers, but all achievers are dreamers. Final comments A psychology that sees the mind and body as machine-like and open to manipulation is appropriate for the technological culture in which we live, yet the overall effect of NLP is to increase the intensity and quality of life. Despite its origins in computing and linguistics, NLP is really about graceful human change. Traditional clinical psychology is all about describing and analyzing problems and finding out their causes. NLP, in contrast, focuses on possibilities and how the mind works to produce results. If NLP could be summed up in one phrase, it would be, people work perfectly. Our specific thoughts, feelings, and actions have produced what we are today. By changing these inputs you will get different results a different you. Each of us is a bundle of emotions, behaviors, and potentialities, all of which we must accept and even love in order to achieve what in NLP is called, personal congruence, the perfect alignment of our desires and values with our capabilities. Steve Andreas and Charles Faulkner Steve Andreas was an industrial chemist before becoming an NLP trainer and developer of new methods. With his wife Kanaya he founded NLP Comprehensive in Colorado in 1979, 
which offered the first ever NLP training certification, and with her has co-authored two books, Change Your Mind and Keep the Change, 1987, and Heart of the Mind, 1989. He has written numerous articles and produced video and audio programs, and wrote a biography of one of America's path-breaking relationships therapists, Virginia Satir, The Patterns of Her Magic, 1991. He has an MA in psychology from Brandeis University and for 30 years has run Real People Press, a publisher focused on personal change. Charles Faulkner has pioneered an array of methods for accelerated language learning, but is well known for his NLP methods in financial decision making and the modeling of successful bond traders. Audio tape programs include metaphors of identity and success mastery with NLP. The other contributing authors to NLP, The New Technology of Achievement are Kelly Gerling, Tim Holb, Robert MacDonald, Jerry Schmidt, and Susie Smith. The book was originally written as an audio program in 1991.